Okay, I'm going to show you a nice method for doing the binomial expansion. Let's do something, first of all, that you probably learned in the first year, something like this with a four at the top. Right, what you're going to do is you're going to have three rows. One of them is for the coefficient. One of them is for the thing which is going up in power. And one of them is for the thing that's going down in power. So usually your down in power would be the number. And your up in power would be the x thing because you're doing ascending powers of x. Right, let's just do a few of them. Let's do four. First four terms will do. Now the coefficients, you've got a choice how to get those coefficients. You can get them from the calculator. So we could do four choose naught, which is whatever, four choose one, four choose two. And you could get it from the calculator or you could get it from the Pascal's triangle, one, 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 two, one. One, three, three, one, one, four, six, four, one, like that. That's probably what I would do. Or you can use the formula. Now, the formula is what you're going to need in the second year when you've got things like instead of a four here, you've got a half or a minus two. So, formulas n choose naught. That's what goes in here. n choose naught. That is always one. n choose two. No, not two because the number after naught is in fact one. n choose one is always n, n choose 2 is what goes in here, and n choose 2 is going to be a half n, n minus 1, and then what goes in here is n choose 3, and that is uh, 1 over 3 factorial, which 1 over 6, n, n minus 1, n minus 2. So sometimes it's easier to remember these as a half and a six. Sometimes it's easier to show the pattern that's forming to have one over two factorial, one over three factorial, because then you can hopefully see that what you've got is whatever that is down there is there factorial. And then that is how many terms you have. One, two, three, one, two. OK, one. So the next one would be one over four factorial and then four of these, one, two, three, four, and n minus one, n minus two, n minus three, etc. So in our case, because we've just got four as the power, I'm going to use Pascal's triangle, one, four, six, four, and we're not doing the last one. Right, three, you have all the power, bit less, bit less, bit less, two x, you have none of the power bit more, bit more, bit more, okay? So these are going up in power, one at a time. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to multiply these together, multiply these together, multiply these together, multiply these together, and that is the answer. Now, for first years, you're probably thinking that's more or less what I do. True. But for second years, you wait. I'll show you it's exactly the same for the second year, and it's going to be way easier than what you probably got taught. So the answer to this one is 1 times 3 to the 4 times 2x to the naught, this is just 1, anything to the 0 is 1. Then the next term is going to be 4 times 3 cubed times 2x. The next term is going to be 6 times 9 times 2x squared, which don't forget is not 2x squared. 2x squared is 4x squared. And then 4 times 3 times 8x cubed. And this is where I have to get a calculator out. 81 plus... 216x plus 216x squared plus 8 times 12, 96x cubed. There we go. Right, now I'm going to do one that's the second year one. So first of all, we'll do a negative number and then we'll do a fraction. Let's do negative first. Let's do 2 minus x all to the minus 4. Okay, since we did 4 a minute ago. So we've got our coefficients. Our thing going down, which is going to be 2, and our thing's going up in power, which is going to be minus x. We'll just do 3. Oh, should we do 4? Let's do 4. It's easy. So, coefficients. 1, n, a half, n, n minus 1, a sixth, n, n minus 1, n minus 2. Right, things going down in power. 2, you get all the power bit less, bit less, bit less, going down by one each time. Minus x, you get none of the power. Bit more, bit more, bit more. So these powers will always add up to the minus four because you're taking one off him and giving it to him. Right, now, first term, second term, third term, fourth term, you just multiply them together. 
exactly the same. So what do we get? 2 to the minus 4. We've got two minuses there. So that's a plus. 4 times 2 to... I'll just do this in the calculator in a minute. That should be meant to be a 4. 4 times 2 to the minus 5. Lots of x. Now how many minus signs have I got now? 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's going to be a plus. And half of 4 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Lots of 2 to the minus 6 x squared. Right, how many minuses have I got now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's even, so that's going to come out positive. And we've got, well, this 6 and this 6 cancel, so that's just 20. 2 to the minus 7 x cubed. Tidy it all up. 2 to the minus 4. 2 to the minus 5, but times 4. Um, 2 to the minus 6 times 10. 5 over 32, and 20 over 2 to the 7. Oh, that's 5 over 32 as well. There we go. All right, now let's do it with a fraction. 2 plus, I don't know, should we just do x? 2 plus x to the half. Let's do that. So, coefficient, thing going down in power, which is going to be 2, the thing going up in power, which is going to be x. Coefficients, 1, n, a half, n, n minus 1, a sixth, n, n minus 1, n minus 2. Things going down in power, 2, you get all the power, 1 less, 1 less, 1 less. x, you get none of the power, 1 more, 1 more, 1 more. Multiply these together, these, 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 that's your four terms. Okay, that'll give us that. Plus 2 to the minus 3 over 2, I think that is, if I can calculate that quickly in my head. Now we've got minus an eighth times 2 to the minus 3 over 2, lots of x squared. And then we've got plus um, 6 times 3, 2, a half. I've got to do the calculator. Okay, 1 over 16, 2 to the minus 5 over 2, x cubed. But I can simplify these because 8 is 2 cubed, so an eighth is 2 to the minus 3, and a sixteenth is 2 to the 4, so that's 2 to the minus 4. So I reckon, if I didn't want to use third notation, if I wanted to leave it in like index notation, this would be 2 to the minus 9 over 2. And here I've got, what have I got? Minus 4 minus 5 over 2, minus 13 over 2, x cubed. Okay, that's it. That's the method. I hope you like it and I hope it will help you with your binomial expansions.